practical uh, answer response? It's not happening. You, you probably know. signed a release saying there's no guarantee. Fair enough. I tell you what, what's <laughs> also not a guarantee is what's going to happen today. Actually, it's pretty guaranteed. We, we're going to tell you. It's going to be partly cloudy. It's going to be warm and humid. I do want to point out, Rob and Joy, uh, we have uh, more clear skies this morning than we've had over the past several mornings. And because of the moisture that's in the air, there is a higher risk of some patchy fog. So I'm going to start in the North Georgia mountains where you see the red and the purple. That is where we could have some fog developing, especially in Gilmer County. Also back near UGA, Clark County, extending back into Jackson County. Again, watch out for some patchy fog as you drive to work. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm not really seeing that in Atlanta right now, but as we get closer to 7 o'clock, that's something we're going to watch for you very carefully. In the meantime, as we look at first lit radar, it's completely dry in all of North Georgia, but we are tracking some showers in Alabama that are moving south and east. These showers aren't really making it into West Georgia. They're dissipating before they do so. But I do want to let you know if you are in Chattooga County, Floyd County, Polk County or Harrelson counties, it's not impossible that you see a stray shower from now through about seven o'clock this morning. I'm going to watch radar for you very carefully, but at this point you're looking fine. Metro Atlanta is certainly looking dry, but like yesterday, we will see more pop up storms later on this afternoon. So let's walk you through the high resolution forecast model. We should stay fairly dry for the rest of the morning. These are the showers I was telling you about uh, in Alabama. Our model has those showers making it into far west Georgia by eight o'clock, but not necessarily Metro Atlanta. And then as we get closer to lunchtime, going into the afternoon, like yesterday, as you can see, we will have some uh, isolated showers and storms out there uh, on the forecast map. Again, the coverage today will be at 30% for comparison. Yesterday's coverage was at like 50%. So even though we will see more storms out there this afternoon, uh, we're not going to see nearly as many as we saw yesterday. And we're not forecasting any severe weather either. So this should just be a little bit of rain and lightning. And the chance of rain will continue through sunset. Uh, closer to 8 or 9 o'clock is when that chance of rain will start to go down. So as we walk you through Atlanta's most accurate forecast and taking you through today first, 91 degrees will be the high temperature. Because we have lowered the rain chances, we're raising the high temperature a little bit. Our highs have been in the 80s over the past several days, so you might notice it's going to feel a little bit hotter out there this afternoon. For Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, we have increased the rain chances back up to 40%. So basically pop-up storms expected each and every afternoon, Friday through Monday, highs are going to be in the upper 80s and low 90s. This is just because of A, the warm and humid air that's going to be in place. And then B, we're going to have some weak cool fronts that'll be north of us, and they may enhance our rain coverage, especially as you go north of Atlanta. So pretty, uh, pretty typical forecast for July as we go into the weekend and into the beginning of next week. We do have some new changes to tell you about today on our seven day. It's looking more likely that we'll get some drier air that'll move in for the big, uh, middle of next week, which is good news for us. It's going to keep us hot. Highs will stay in the upper 80s to low 90s, but with the drier air in place, our rain chances will go down to 20%. So if you're looking for something to do outdoors all day where you don't have to worry about the rain at all, next Tuesday and Wednesday looks like they could be those days. Let's cross our fingers and hope that that remains the case. We have Courtney Jacobasi, who 